Ladies and gentlemen, I am said Alpha. And before we get started, let me say that this is not involving any particular game. Definitely not the one on your screen now. Although, as you can most certainly guess, the topic at hand discusses the current goings-on over at NeoGAF, and more specifically, a huge amount of people stating that, for all intents and purposes, Rome is burning. It should go without saying, but I will be leaving this video demonetized. I see no reason why I should benefit off of a situation such as this. So for those of you that have been wondering what is happening, NeoGAF, a somewhat popular website that gamers, games publishers, and games developers tend to frequent, has been locking down and are deleting numerous threads surrounding the site's owner and founder, Tyler Malka, aka Evilore, being accused of sexual harassment. In a now-deleted thread on NeoGAF, the user Scissorfight posted a statement on behalf of his sister titled, my little sister was sexually assaulted by somebody famous in the gaming industry. In it, he reposted a statement made by his sister on Facebook that reads as follows. I remember a man who claimed to be my friend, going on a road trip to New Orleans. In NOLA we drank and had fun, and one night we had been drinking our hotel room and I got sick. I was throwing up and decided to hop in the shower to feel better. I was surprised when he got into the shower fully naked behind me. I had a boyfriend at the time and didn't think I had given him any reason to believe I wanted this. I didn't cheat. So I told him that it wasn't okay, that I was sick, that I had a boyfriend, that I didn't want that. He got out and slowly started resenting me, being mean to me, ignoring me, in a city he drove me to. I couldn't wait to get home. I couldn't tell my partner for fear that he would claim I led him on. My relationship with my boyfriend suffered and we broke up soon after that. I couldn't come out about this situation because the perpetrator is a semi-famous man in video games who would have retaliated and I couldn't afford to defend myself. There are websites dedicated to this person's sexual assault history. I don't know, I was scared. I was tired. I still can't post his name out of fear. Fear for a film he acted in for me. Fear of ridicule. Fear of not being believed. I don't want to be silent anymore. I will post stories until I don't feel like it anymore. And there are so many which was then followed up with a person telling her she should stand up and take her power back, which she initially rejected, but 10 minutes later she decided to follow through and stated, fuck it, Google evil lore. And in the intervening hours, four moderators have already stepped down, and any discussion thread on NeoGAF talking about this is subsequently locked and most have been deleted. Many of them were deleted as I was reading through them, which is unfortunate as I hadn't had an opportunity to archive them yet. The moderators that have left are listed as being Beseda, Cyan, Xander Cage, who is actually someone I've had relatively positive dealings with last year, and Kabuter in response to this issue. And while this is by no means the first time Tyler Malka has come under fire for sexual harassment in light of the Me Too campaign after the initial news surrounding Harvey Weinstein's deplorable behavior that lasted for God knows how long, this does seem to be the incident that will cause significant damage to the NeoGAF website, which has a great many people rejoicing. In fact, back in 2012, there is a well-documented case of evil lore apparently coming under fire for a similar situation. And Tyler Malka has yet to release a statement in regards to this, but I expect he will take his time and do his best to try and save his website and whatever might be left of his reputation. And I just wanted to say in parting that I don't feel anyone should ever find themselves in that sort of situation especially when you suddenly find yourself with a person you thought you could trust and being coupled with a vulnerability of having been under the influence of alcohol, alone, naked, and in the shower. And man or woman, if you have stories of mistreatment, please do not keep them to yourself. I know it's scary. I know some of you might feel like you may have done something to encourage their behavior or that something might happen to your career or that people might think less of you. But the longer you wait, the greater the chance of them getting away with it, and anyone who would behave in such a fashion deserves to be caught. And also, if anyone thinks less of you for being put into that position, then quite frankly, they were never worth your time to begin with. And as far as your career goes, I can understand your trepidation, but peace of mind, self-respect, and being able to maintain one's own dignity is far more worth any career and anyone who would put your career at risk for speaking up for yourself or defending yourself is not a moral human being to begin with. Now, I do not have my own Me Too story, but I know both family and friends who do. So while I cannot sympathize, I can most certainly empathize with this situation.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I will keep my eyes open for an update when there is one, but this seemed like information that deserved getting out there so people would be able to make sense of it all. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.